There are a ton of videos out now about Nano Banana, Google's new image editor, because it's awesome. But a lot of them are like random use cases. So I wanted to make one specifically for designers, marketers, and small businesses. Anyone who wants professional ways to save time on image editing. So I'm going to go quickly through 12 examples. And all of them are taken from my free prompt library of 70 ways to use Nano Banana in your designs that you can download. Over the course of the video, the prompts are going to get more and more advanced. And at the end, I'll show you a new tool for animating images with start and end frames that gives you way more control than video generators have had until now. So you can start making videos like this. Okay, so this is the prompt library that I've made for Nano Banana, especially for designers and marketers. I've set it up so there's a table of contents and we've got all these different categories, campaigns and assets, product and packaging, social media, websites, portraits and photos, background and location swaps, photo cleanup, lighting, presentations, event and hospitality, heritage and restoration, creative experiments as a final thing. It's really long. There's 70 prompts in this whole thing. You can just click on the table of contents and go to any section like background and location swaps. Within that, you've got a guide explaining what the prompt does. And then you can just copy the prompt and paste it into Nano Banana, uploading it with your image and then use it from there. So let's go ahead and try a few of them out. And here we are, Nano Banana prompts. Okay, so I don't want to waste your time and show you the whole process of creating the images. I'm just going to show you the results that I got from using these prompts before. The most important thing that I want to say is that Nano Banana will always use the resolution of the image that you put into it to create the output image. So if you want a 16 by nine image and you input like a square image, it's going to output a square image. Okay. So bear that in mind. Anyway, here we go. So first one, pretty simple. It's just taking a product and then putting it into a lifestyle scene. So show X product in a modern setting. Very simple. The next one you've seen probably combining images and people before, but in this case, you're using the prompt to create an influencer that looks like somebody that is in your ideal customer profile. Okay. <laughs> so you're deciding who would buy this product and then creating an image like that. The next one is using your brand colors to basically take a basic product image and then creating like a simple hero image. We're keeping an eye on how good Nano Banana is at actually dealing with type. It's still not as good as ChatGPT. For example, you can see here that it said Boo Dog IPA beer, not Brew Dog. But anyway, let's keep an eye on that. Here's another one where it's taking the image and calling out the features you want from it. So it's done a perfect job in this case of using text and the main features of the product. This one is a great example of how Nano Banana has absolutely nailed the typography. So it's used exactly the same kind of fonts, the same kind of layout, and it hasn't made any mistakes. That's really cool. Okay, in this one, I was thinking about like an Instagram carousel cover. So uploading a photo and the logo, and then adding a couple of other elements to make it clear that this is the cover image and there are more images to come. This is one where it's using a photo of me, in this case, with my character Flu, and then putting me into a totally different situation, a candid at work shot. I did notice it uh, made me a little fat and kind of somewhat gerbil like, but all right, we'll forgive it. Studio location photos. So that's like studio lighting or studio photography. 
and just taking somebody and putting them into a different situation. I noticed in this one, it did a very clever job in this first photo of keeping the backpack that I was wearing in the original shot and notice also my ring here as well. That's been put in there as well. And then I got it to change my, change my clothes. So I look a little bit more professional. Um, even still keeping my same douchey facial expression. I wanted to play around with what it's going to be like when it's editing different styles of images. So in this case, we've got this illustrative image style and just, I asked it to clean up the distracting elements so we can focus in on the subject. And it did a very clever job of just getting rid of all the clutter in the photo. In the next one, I wanted to change the photo so it could be turned into a vector style illustration that we could use in other kinds of marketing contexts. And I think the pose is amazing. Yeah. And you could easily edit the colors. No problem. Also, you can create mood boards with Nano Banana. You can do this in ChatGPT as well. It's very good at that, especially because it's really good at typography. But what I wanted to do was just take a simple single photo and make a whole mood board based on that, that you could use as the basis for a brand. In this one, I just got like a cluttered photo, like a messy photo that you might take with your iPhone and create like a before and after pic. So again, it's cleaning up the clutter, right? It did an amazing job at that. It just getting rid of all those items that it decided weren't really necessary and just making it look like a way more professional shot. My only criticism about this is the fact that the before and after captions above there are not centered, but not bad. Okay. This was a really challenging one. So this one was taking a 2d flat design of a package designed in Adobe Illustrator and then converting it into what it would look like as a 3D product. Now, it's not perfect. You can see that on the front cover, it's missed some of the icons from the original packaging design and it's added some of the text from the back. You know, it says fast and efficient there. The sort of combined the back and the front missed a couple of elements, but still quite impressive, I think. It's still a pretty good mock-up. All you need is one more step. Take that output from the last one, isolate the front image from the original packaging design, and then tell Nano Banana to replace the front of that, and you're done. Okay, so... I wanted to try and animate that last one where we're making the packaging design fold into that 3D product. And what I'm using here is the new video generation model by Kling. It's Kling 2.1. It's a Chinese model, so it's pretty cheap to use and it's one of the best on the market. Now for creating the prompt, I almost never write prompts myself. I just go over to ChatGPT. I upload the images that I want to use and tell ChatGPT what I want to happen in the video. And then it writes a prompt for me. So here's Kling with my start frame, with my end frame, with my ChatGPT prompt making the video. And you'll see the full version of it after it's finished processing. Okay, I realized that wasn't perfect, but that was an extremely challenging task that I was giving it. Asking it to fold this box and turn at the same time, and it did a reasonable job. Um, I, I mean, I would use it just for a demo or something like that. But the point is, being able to have a start frame and an end frame gives us now a lot more control over videos. 
So that's how easy image editing is now with Nano Banana. Another reminder that the output image size matches the input size. So if you want a 16 by 9 image, just resize your starting image with Photoshop or any similar tool. All of the prompts that I showed here, along with a bunch of others, are in the free prompt library, which you can download in the description below. If you try these out and want any help applying them to your own campaigns, get in touch with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.